Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? This is Faster Human. It is dark. On my way to uh, stay busy and stay accountable. Uh, so many things going on right now. Um, this is another episode for the month of November. Um, my apologies to everybody who is listening to the podcast. Um, be able to do anything last month. I, I don't think uh, um, I have been uh, consistent with uh, the episodes because of uh, so many things going on. Busy schedule, uh, family. Uh, as you know, guys, um, I have uh, talked about uh, how much of a uh, you know uh, levels of stress you know <laughs> that you you have to deal every single day. And I'm being completely honest with you. Uh, if you are, are watching the uh, this this uh, YouTube or in the YouTube and or listening to the uh, podcast, um, I can be uh, completely completely honest uh, in regards of what happens in a daily basis of somebody who lives a life, uh, lifestyle in the fitness industry and uh, and, 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 and to be able to uh, manage levels of stress every single day. Um, and so if you have listened to my previous episodes and, and watched the episodes before, uh, one of the things I can definitely uh, tell you is that uh, I look forward to do, uh, you know, episodes again, uh, but, but then when you have uh, many things going on every single day, uh, it becomes a little hectic. And so I, I decided that, you know, whenever I have uh, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to be able to talk to you guys and, and be able to share uh, the journey in, in which uh, I'm living at right now and, and uh, trying to understand so many things and um, I'm learning so many things in regards of what's happening on the changes that's, that this world has gone through through uh, social media, uh, through uh, through the environment. Uh, it's so how much is people's behaviors are changing in regards of uh, uh, coming back to what is happening uh, since uh, we have to go from last year's pandemic to this uh, end of the year. Uh, and grateful and thankful for so many changes, uh, so many things that's, uh, that is happening uh, and seeing uh, the, the the difference in going to from one state to another and see what's happening uh, that everybody wants to go back to normal but things are not going to be necessarily normal as we um, focus on uh, the health benefits of you know of, of be- becoming healthy and staying healthy and and talking about the things that are necessary for your health and, and for your lifestyle uh, trust me, uh, I, I know that sometimes uh, it's crazy when when uh, you uh, go back to work or you're starting work or you're going back to the office and you're, you're uh, you name it. So you have these uh, different things that uh, are becoming uh, part of the a new way of living your life. Um, we were stressed out trying to figure it out the beginning of the year uh, to how things are going to be and uh, the changes on the uh, technology has helping us out to be able to have more be uh, self-aware, more um, accountable uh, to the things that we want to do for ourselves. Uh, becoming is much more of um, leaving the the mindset of uh, working that night to five mindset uh, that people are living on these levels of stress is realizing I don't want to be stressed out uh, and, and not focusing on my health and, and not focusing on the things that aren't necessarily uh, good for that person and that's one of the things I, I come to learn from a lot of people that are talking about these things that I don't want to be stressed out. I don't want to be, uh, you know, working at a job that I don't like, and 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 that's what it gave. Um, the time of last year's pandemic has given up uh, people to give a step back and realize what they want in life, what they are trying to actually get out of their, um, out of the new way of uh, living, uh, a life, a better lifestyle. You know, and don't get me wrong. Uh, I I I believe that uh, many of us are kind of sort of almost in the same page 
of trying to figure things out to just overall have a better uh, way of living and focusing more on the health factor. Uh, and that's one of the things that I have come to notice that no matter what you're making, no matter what you're doing, your health comes first. And that's one of the things that I have come to notice in the space that I, I work on and, and the things that I do on a daily basis, people are kind of so like, hey, my health comes first. Uh, and and, and this, that's one of the things that, you know, a lot of people are becoming more aware of. And so for you, or if, if you are, you know, uh, new to fasting, for example, it's becoming easier to understand that fasting and 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 sleeping, uh, exercising, uh, eating on a better time frame of window of eating is going to make a huge difference uh, to uh, a better healthy lifestyle, a better way of uh, reducing stress. Uh, that's one of the things that. I have come to uh, realize to be able to give that information to somebody who um, is kind of sort of doesn't have an idea or have it. Uh, probably they do have an idea of what can they do, right? And when I see that a person, they're not sleeping, you know, there's uh, six to eight hours. So they're not sleeping uh, or they're not getting the energy that they need to work out. They're not having the energy to work out. It's a lot to do with the way the person is eating, the person is uh, constantly, um, you know, having so many uh, issues in regards of, uh, uh, you know, uh, gaining weight. And so those issues of the things that uh, you don't prioritize at the beginning uh, for yourself or health-wise, then that becomes a, a problem in a, in the a long term, right? And and so you can be the most active person, but then you're 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 eating all through the day. Uh, you can be the most hardworking person in the room, but then your your health is 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 declining because you're not you're not prioritizing sleep. You're not prioritizing. Your windows, your windows of eating, uh, eating windows, right? So it's, it's, it's a correlation of different things, of uh, doing things that uh, can make a huge difference in a daily basis. Uh, and, I, and I can tell you that where, when I am uh, listening to a lot of individuals that they're coming from a space where whether they are doctors, whether they're nurse, whether they are... Uh, self-employed so what they are and they are trying to figure out have a better structure and this is one of the things about having that structure that when you are start of um, utilizing intermittent fasting and fasting and better sleep patterns will better create a better structure for yourself and so I talk about these things uh, with many of my clients and and and, uh, and, and to be honest it, it, it sounds crazy to believe that uh, that that's what you necessarily you need in a constant basis uh, to to be able to fix the problems that you have. Um, trust me, it's not easy. I, I can tell you, uh, but this consistency of talking about these things, consistency of your mental health, uh, your emotional health, and then and and so a lot of things that happens to somebody in regards to the rounds of a health unhealthy lifestyle. Is because mentally you ex probably you're exhausted. You're mentally you're exhausted because um, because of work. You're mentally exhausted because you know family issues. You're mentally exhausted because you know you have so many things uh, got to do with with bills and, and so on and so forth. But the world is changing. The world is coming to a different a different way of. Um, coming around to be able to help those who are paying attention if you're if you start paying attention on what's happening right now right uh, and step back and kind of sort of watch that your most important priority to you is your health that is what is going to bring you much more into balance and to be able to get
get the most out of yourself. And I was thinking about this, you know, like, you know, I want to do a podcast. I, I, trust me, I wanted to do a podcast like a couple of weeks ago. I mean, like sitting back, you know, sit, sitting back, but I don't want to just come over and tell you, or, you know, just any uh, random thing that come that, that just comes out of my mind. I want to tell you what is I'm experiencing every single week. I'm going to tell you what I'm experiencing every single day. And, and 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 this this is the opportunity for me, kind of sort of like you know what I'm gonna just record it, and I'm gonna to be able to bring it to you and how and how I feel, and 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 how my exercise it continues going, how's my eating patterns. Most of my eating patterns hasn't changed much. I mean, one of the things that I can tell you is like you know we had Thanksgiving, and you have all this, a lot of goodies that that comes around with Thanksgiving and and food and socializing with families and friends, getting to know new people, and especially when you're going to a, a Friendsgiving or Thanksgiving, and so it comes to realize that um, it, it, it try to enjoy that moment enjoy that that they get the getting together with friends and family talking about different things and it, it comes a rise when it comes down to it, it, people want to talk about health they're talking about you know they're talking about how important it is to them to be able to have control of that uh, eating patterns and, and sleeping patterns and and so many things that come along with with we having conversations in, in a social gathering and and then we having that space is necessary and and so uh, you know and I talk and, and I talk about this uh, in regards of how can I make your life easier right by sharing what I go through and so if I'm sharing with you in regards of hey you know I it's been crazy and says as uh, my schedule has gone from <laughs> from having just a few clients to more and more clients and to be able to take care of each one of them right and so I want to be able to uh, it's kind of sort of like understand uh, all going through all this process to be able to bring you the most I can uh, to 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 manage my my stress levels right so um, and I come to think of so many things that that I want to talk to you about and kind of be more open uh, in regards of uh, uh, mental health, emotional health. Um, I was part of Movember. I I, I grow like a like a goatee uh, mustache. I kind of share it down on my regular page, and uh, and I and and I said to myself, you know, I wasn't sharing it in regards of how why am I doing this, growing my my my, my mustache and. And and at the end of the at the end of the month, by, by the, the beginning of December, which was yesterday, I decided to share why did I do it? Why why did I was you know growing the mustache and everything? And and because um, mental health is one of the topics that that I, I I like to tap into it because one of the reasons why was you know not only you're stressing out to kind of sort of be healthy, there's a lot of things going on in the person's mind that you're trying to find a a way to be able to um, manage it and be able to keep it, you know, calm it down, and, and so kind of so like, you know, you you got this, and you'll be able to uh, feel better about yourself because you're in control, much more in control of yourself, and uh, your health will get back to it as long as you let the body do what it's supposed to do. Um, and so. I'm grateful that I'm going through this kind of sort of process because I'm in my mid 40s and I am kind of sort of seeing different patterns of as I age. But I obviously, you know, I want to age gracefully. Um, and, and I tell people say, but well, you don't look 40. Uh, yeah, I am I'm 45 years old and, and I am um, now uh, kind of sort of like. Uh, like I tell people, you know, it's like I see things differently from a different perspective uh, in a constant basis. So I'm coming, I'm coming around to be able to see um, things that are uh, changing on myself uh, mentally and uh, emotionally. Kind of sort of like I, I want to prioritize uh, all the different little things in my life uh, to learn to be able to uh, submerge myself to something different that 
it, it helps uh, helps me to discover a lot of different things about myself. You know, I, I got into I got into crypto. I got into uh, streaming. I got into uh, you know uh, doing creating content. And so you stay busy. You stay find a way to be able to create something that makes you feel good. And what makes me feel good is kind of sort of like what I lean at the most. I, and there's nothing wrong that you creating something that it makes you feel good. As long as within the within the frame that you know you're not you're not doing anything bad to anybody. Uh, I think that the frame that I, I was uh, I was trying to project on you guys is to about creating uh, your life and becoming this the best version of yourself. And that's what basically what I try to do for me. I mean, I try to be the best version of myself, trying to uh, make sure that I taking care of myself mentally and be able to express myself emotionally. And so it has been taking me a lot, uh, a lot of time, a lot of a lot of process uh, in regards of um, uh, being self-aware and understanding. Uh, where I'm going uh, with Faster Human, the podcast, and uh, what I'm trying to do and build, right? So, uh, as I learn, I'm stepping outside from uh, creating the podcast, I kind of sort of step outside to, to find more things that I can be able to help you uh, and, and tell you, hey, there's all the things that you can do that is going to help you, your mindset, and 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 find what your passion is and, and, and discover yourself in a different way that you, you didn't think you can be able to discover and remember that there, there's so many of us um, out there here on YouTube and the podcast um, to be able to continuously create let you know that you can create your own thing you can create your own life and um, and hopefully what I'm sharing this with you right now you'll be able to understand the creating and um, stepping a little bit back and, on, and, and be able to live a healthy lifestyle because you making your, your priority, your happiness is priority. Your well-being is priority. And so hopefully um, you have found uh, a better outcome out of the, the last year pandemic to this new year. Uh, in brand new year coming up around a couple of months, a couple of weeks, I'm sorry, uh, is going to be um, for you to become the best version of yourself. So if you like this video, don't forget to like this video, uh, subscribe, and I look forward to meeting you one day and shake your hand and hopefully uh, be able to talk a little bit more about you and how your life has changed um, just by uh, sharing this content and hopefully uh, you have uh, living your best life ever so guys talk to you soon have a blessed day peace